So glad you're all here tonight to join us for our little clam bake here at the Cicada Club. You know, we were just here just a few weeks ago, and I have to tell you the defibrillator is working, which is why I'm here tonight to be with all of you. And uh, you know, I, I want to tell you, every time I get to see the dolls, keep looking forward, every time I get to see the dolls, I swear, no matter what you're looking at, my view is so much better. And um, aren't they cute? They're just so cute. They can sing, they can dance, and if they could cook, I say, keep the light on late, I'll be home for dinner. Girls, I think it's time to say so long, and we'll bring you right back, okay? Here we go. That was Chris Tedesco, I think, in the horn section. My goodness, Chris. In fact, I think Chris, Chris, you uh, didn't you have something to do with something that happened down at the airport today? Was it today? He had 25 musicians to greet the space shuttle. And uh, I, I brought something I want to show you, because Johnny Holiday is a, is, you know that television show, uh, The Hoarders? Well, I'm in. I, uh, I save everything. Back when I was around 12 years old, we used to get the Saturday Evening Post. This is the July-August 1973 issue. This was just a dream at the time, the space shuttle. And I think how far we've come, the space shuttle, Benjamin Franklin, you gotta see the Terryton ads too. You remember, you'd rather fight than switch. But I wanted to show you something you'll really get a kick out of. This actually is a package from Michael Feinstein. You know, Michael was so nice to take all of Uncle Bing's arrangements from his last commercial recording. And he mailed me copies of them. But I wanted to show you something my father saved for me. We just buried one of the greatest men that ever walked the moon. John, right here. Neil Armstrong. This is from July, 20, July 26, 1969. And I, I tell you, I actually must be much older than you think. I have the paper from when Valentino died. I didn't, and I'm not talking about the dress designer. I'm talking about my pal. We both worked at Monogram. But I think this is a wonderful thing. And what an incredible life that man led. And I hope that we can always remember those heroes, those patriots that went up to space, because it was an amazing time. We all watched the television, and of course now today we just changed channels. You know, I could think that we'd all end up being orange juice squeezers if we just did that all the time. But speaking of squeezing, I'm going to squeeze my way into a number that sort of summarizes how I feel with my pal Dean Mora. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world, it smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, 
the sun comes shining through but when you're crying will you bring on the rain so stop that crying come on get happy again keep on smiling because when you're smiling the whole world it smiles with you boys Jeff Nudell on the liquor stick But when you're crying, oh, you bring on the rain, so stop that crying. Come on, get happy again, keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. The whole world, it smiles with you. There we go, nice and tight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to one of Hollywood's most wonderful stars, star of motion pictures and television. I'm gonna ask her to come up here and say hello to all of you, Stephanie Powers. I am one lucky boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, I want to tell you. Now, Stephanie and I were just talking about that wonderful, you know, we all know Stephanie from television, but you know, she's made quite a few fl flicks. And uh, we were talking about Stagecoach, which you made with Bing and yeah. a wonderful cast. What wonderful like? cast. It was fabulous. And we, we had a wonderful opportunity to get to know each other. Um, he uh, loved racehorses, Bing. Yes. And my father bred racehorses, and we used to look at the bloodstock books together, and, right. and we got to be good friends. And I want to tell you, now Stephanie, as you know, was very close to a very, very special man, one of the finest actors, I think, that ever performed on the silver screen, William Holden. And of course, Mr. Holden set up, I guess you'd call it a preserve. Would it, would well, he was a conservationist before right. the word was sort of in popular language. That's right. And after his death, we formed the William Holden Wildlife Foundation to carry on some of his work. Uh, we currently breed 37 species of East African wildlife, wow. and we have an education center that copes with about 11,000 students a year, teaching really? them that's about wonderful. biodiversity. Well, that's wonderful. And ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, the stars always come here. Is there an address where we can go online and donate to? Oh, or? yeah, we can look, if, uh, look online at whwf.org. We'd be very happy to talk to you. Oh, I'd like that very much. Stephanie Powers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Stephanie. You look gorgeous. Gorgeous girl. See, they always come here. Hutton and Ruth Wilkinson. Two wonderful people, you were just gorgeous. I'd like to sing a song that Dean Moore wrote a very nice arrangement for me. And we were speaking of William Holden. Well, one of Bing's favorite films and one that was really quite interesting and in that it wasn't a musical was with Grace Kelly and Bill Holden. It's The Country Girl. And uh, there's a marvelous Harold Arlen, Ira Gershwin song. It's a lovely ballad. No one else ever recorded it. I don't know why, but we're gonna give it a whack here. It's called The Search Is Through. The flaxen hair, the tender voice, the laughing eyes gave me no choice, no more the doubt I used to face, no more the doubt. No more the chase, the search is through, you've got what it takes, there was no passing you by, in 
Thank you very much. I, <laughs> you're very kind. Because you know what? I've never heard this arrangement. This is the first time I've heard it. And Dean, you'll get an extra $5 in your page slip. No, it's very nice. The man is genius. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I was talking about Bing. As you know, here in Los Angeles, back in 1926, the biggest thing in America, next to Lucky Lindy, was Paul Whiteman. It was Paul Whiteman that first learned through Matty Matlock, no, excuse me, Matty Melnick, about these two singers at the Metropolitan Theater. Paul Whiteman was performing down the street over at the Million Dollar Theater. Later, after he hired Bing Crosby and Al Rinker, he put them together with Harry Barris. I came to a show here that Richard Halpern was doing. He had an act that was just stupendous, and I want you to meet in here probably the most authentic version of the original Rhythm Boys. Here they are, the Rhythm Boys. Come on over here. Now I'm gonna turn it over to these fellas, but I wanna tell you, Dutch Newman and his Rhythm Boys are absolutely so authentic, and when you listen to their nice tight harmonies, I think you're gonna be really impressed. Fellas, take it over. to elucidate on the subject. Well, first the bluebird said, we've got to have sunny weather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together. Then the blackbirds said, we're birds of a different feather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds 
sunshine again for we can't have rain or sunshine that lasts forever so the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together tell you, you know, back in 1927, 1928, 1929, and even in 1930, the Rhythm Boys was a sound that was unlike any other. And after they left Gus Arnheim and they went off to stardom in their own way, with Bing going his way, and Barris kept writing great songs, and Rinker was writing good songs. And I gotta tell you something, you fellas are just absolutely marvelous. And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know, this is Douglas Rogier's and I want you to also say hello to Dutch Newman. And there's my pal, Kerry Farnsworth, right over there. And I think it'd be nice if they did another number. Don't you think so, folks? So here goes the Rhythm Boys. Thank you, Johnny. Sure. All right, boys, what do you say we take this up to a good, fast, snappy tempo? You say you want it fast? Well, if it's going to be good, it must be fast. All right, son, you count that off. You all set? I'm set. One, two. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, ba doodle a deep and dot and boom. Ba, ba, double dot. He's crazy. Insane. Well, I beg your pardon. That's right. Go ahead, will you now? <clears throat> you know, some folks wait for the night time. Yes, some folks wait for the dawn. Well, I want to tell you what I've waited for, and I've waited plenty long. Bet I know you said you wanted a girl that was different. Wanted one that would suit your taste. Yep. Now that I possess one, what you gonna do? She ain't gonna waste. Why? I got a sweet little, neat little, dear little, cute little girl I'm gonna call my wife. Woo I bet she's got the sweetest way. Just as hot as a bright sun's rays. What about the other girls he talked about? The names in my date book are all scratched out, and I know she loves Wait me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, well, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, son. What do you mean? How do you know she loves you? Well, principally because she told me so. Show me a girl who doesn't lie. Watch where I go. Now of all the babies I have met, she's the only real one yet. I got a sweet little neat little dear little cute little girl I'm gonna call my wife. I've got a sweet little neat little dear little cute little girl I'm gonna call my wife. She cooks, she bakes, she sews, and how that baby doll wears her clothes. Oh, oh. When she wears those ship on home. Oh, the cops don't care which way the traffic go. And in a short while, after we're met, I'll pass 
the smoke's around and I'll repeat what I've said. Now blondes, brunettes, they are key. But mine's a little redhead. We know what you mean. I've got a sweet little dear, the cute little girl I'm gonna call my ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba da. She's coming down the street. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Oh, she's nice. Once or twice. Okay, I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Just cast your eyes in her direction. Her direction. Oh, me, oh, my. Me, oh, me. What perfection. That's real perfection. That's perfection. Oh, boy, she's neat. I repeat. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she she <laughs> But he la do da da bum bum ba 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 bum bum ba bum ba bum ba 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 bum. Does she know her ABCs? A B C D E F G. Bum bum bum. Diddle da do da ba do da day ba ba do da da ba dee da da ba 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 do da da ba do da little ba do ba day. Ba bum ba bum. Ain't she? Dutch Newman's Rhythm Boys. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, Johnny. Come back Thank you, the Johnny. break, too. Thank All right? You. Thanks, fellas. Don't push me off. I'm too old. The last act that did that is working at Pimlico now, taking tickets. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, we have a record attendance, and I want to just say how much I appreciate, the band appreciates, our artists appreciate that you're here tonight. And I want to say hello to all of our viewers around the world. And now I would like to bring back those gorgeous gals to do a song that I'm not really quite familiar with called Billy a Dick. Every night while I'm undressing, saying my prayers and lightly confessing, I can hear hot licks from a set of drums upstairs. Well, it could be Johnny, cause he isn't there. Johnny's overseas, we know not where. But believe it or not, every night on the dot, I can hear a tenor drum say, Billy a dick, Billy a dick, tick tack. When's that character coming back? When's that kid in the G.I. lid gonna choo choo down the track? Poor old me, I'm beat as can be, and my ribs really starting to rust. Look at these sticks trying to kick out the licks, they're covered with an inch of dust. Beat the dust, billy a dick, billy a dick, tick tack. When's that character coming back? When's that boy with the jumping joy gonna launch that last attack? If he'll roll, roll, roll like a drumstick, chew and chew and chew it on a gumstick, Jack will soon have a Japanese derby and a beat like a cymbal on a music rack. Billy a dick, billy a dick, tick tack. When's that character coming back? When's that boy with the jumping joy gonna launch that last attack? If he'll roll, roll, roll like a drumstick, chew and chew and chew and on a gumstick, Jack will soon have a Japanese derby and a beat like a cymbal on a music rack. Billy a dick, Billy a dick, tick tack. Billy a dick, Billy a dick, tick tack. Billy a dick, Billy a dick, tick tack. When's that character coming back? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do an instrumental, but John Canister, could you come up here a second? Ladies and gentlemen, before, I gotta do, I gotta, I, I. John, 
Come on up here. Now, you don't know who this man is, but I think you're gonna be very, very interested. John, come on up. Oh, I gotta use this microphone. I've been given instructions from the booth. John, first of all, I wanna welcome you back to the Cicada Club. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I always make a pitch for my friends at the Bob Hope USO, because the Bob Hope USO takes care of tens of thousands of our troops as they come through Los Angeles Airport, Ontario, Airport and Palm Springs Airport. This gentleman that you're looking at, though, is rather, a rather uh, important man in my book. Grab that mic. Because he is a federal firefighter, and he is, how many? Is this your third one? Third tour. His third tour of Afghanistan. We're on a break right now, right? On a break. He's one of our heroes. <laughs> right. Welcome him. Thank you. And thank you for your service. Thank you, Mr. Holliday. What do you do in Afghanistan? You're putting out fires, huh? That's right. And, uh, and how long, and, you, and this is, are you on, are you active uh, right now, or what's the deal? Uh, correct. Uh, I'm at uh, Forward Operating Base Salerno on the Pakistan border, and our nickname is Rocket City. We have the largest amount of incoming rockets and mortars uh, on the border. Really? So we're busy uh, putting out all kinds of fires and uh, medical assistance. Well, I want to tell you that, uh, you know what? When you're out on the front lines, ladies and gentlemen, ask any soldier I have, it's 99% boredom and 1% terror. And it's mighty brave people that volunteer to serve in our armed forces. And to have this gentleman here who's out there helping our troops, being part of the effort, and God knows we want to bring him home, and I'm so glad that you're here. I want to wish you all the best, and I hope that my friends will join me in donating what they can at bobhopeuso.org. I know you'd like to do that, right? Absolutely. Then I'll make a donation in your name, okay? <laughs> Thank you, You can count Holliday. on that. Thank you so much, All John. Right. Thank you for your service, and God bless you. Thank you for your support. All right, you got it. Go drink that champagne. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the wonderful Dean Mora Melody Boys here. They're gonna, we got a 10-piece orchestra, which you're never gonna find on a Friday night in Los Angeles. The best things in life are free. Dance. Hutton Wilkinson, get on that dance floor. That was, the best things in life are free.
unless you're me. It costs a lot of money to be me, folks. If you knew how much formaldehyde is delivered to my house so I can do these shows, believe me. And I want to wish some happy birthdays out. And I love it when people plan their birthdays here at the Cicada Club. I'd like to wish a happy birthday. And there's quite a few. We have uh, Marva. Happy birthday. Brooke. All right, where it is. Mr. Borba. Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Judith, happy birthday. All right, they're over there. Leah, happy birthday. My goodness. Well, it's definitely not awake up there. And ladies and gentlemen, let's also wish Catherine a happy birthday. Catherine, wherever you are, blessings and a happy birthday. And Andrea, happy birthday, Andrea. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about the first time I found out about the Cicada Club, I came to here, and uh, one night, a pal of mine was visiting from the Carolinas, and he is one of the nicest fellas. We've only met once before in person, but we've been in communication for the last five years. He is not only a wonderful band leader, he's a great drummer, and he's quite a good singer, and we both love the same kind of music, and he flew in from Asheville to do our show just a few days ago. I want you to meet one of the nicest people I know, Mr. Russ Wilson. No, oh, oh, no. Oh. Now I want to tell you, you know, Russ, Russ Wilson, yes. I want to tell you, tell them the name of your band, because it's really quite amazing. The band is called the Nouveau Passé Orchestra. And that's really very passé. And I want to tell you, Russ is a huge fan, as I am, of Paul Whiteman. Yes. For reasons which I guess are obvious to all of you, because Russ loves the old songs. And you did a concert where you reenacted, you did all these Paul Whiteman arrangements Absolutely. with a yes. large orchestra. A 35 piece orchestra. 35 pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, Russ, I know that you're going to give everybody a thrill, but I know this means a lot to me to have a pal on the show. Of course, all my friends are on this show, but you're a very special friend. Well, thank you. It's truly an honor to be here and to be on your show tonight. Well, that's, it's, that's right. And, well, I and I have a gift for you. Really? Yes. Would it, oh! Russ Wilson, just for you. Yes. This is your CD. This oh, is, you've got some great songs on here. This is a limited edition CD that I brought with me. I've only got about 25 copies. Everybody Loves My Baby. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Minnie the Moocher, right. P.S. I Love You. you got some good songs on here. There's some great songs on there. Did you bring extras? I brought 25 copies for the people out here tonight. Oh, great. If they want one, come and see me, and for a small fee, they can take me home with them. All right. I want to turn it over to my pal Russ, who's going to sing a couple of great old songs for you. Good luck, Russ. Thank you. All right. Take the middle mic. Take middle mic. All right. <laughs> We're going to do a song for you, ladies and gentlemen, by the great Bobby Darren. Come out in 1959. We hope you enjoy it. Somewhere. Beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sailing. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. If I could fly like birds on high, Straight to her arms, I'd go sailing. It's far beyond the star, it's near beyond the moon. I know beyond a doubt, my heart will lead me there soon. We'll meet beyond the shore. We'll kiss just as before Happy we'll be beyond the sea And never again I'll go sailing No. 
Adam Tunney needs to come back to the Cicada <laughs> Club. And I know he's watching and he's gnashing his teeth in Chicago. Gosh, you know, and I'm so glad you're here. Oh, you know, maybe in the next you. set we could do a number, but you're about to sing a song that's near and dear to my heart. Yes. Because he never recorded it for DECA. He only recorded it for the film, and that's the version that everybody knows. That's right. You're going to sing... From the movie Going Hollywood. Right. Temptation. Well, I better step away because you just never know at the Cicada Club. Someone could get hurt. That's right. Russ Wilson singing Temptation. Temptation 
Russ Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. I think he should stay here for a while. If I tried to hit that note, I think my brace would break. That's, uh, that was amazing. Jeez, a man of your years, too. Hmm. But anyway, speaking of years, it was several years ago when I first came upon this marvelous club. I'll never forget the night because I had dinner with Maxwell DeMille the first time I ever came here with Maxwell and the wonderful Jennifer Keith. We were sitting right over there and Dean Mora's big band was performing. And it was as if I'd gone back to my years at the Venetian Room. They had a boy singer and a girl singer. And I'm so honored to have back on the show because she was with us, I believe, at Christmas time on our show here. And by the way, the Christmas show is December 22nd. It's gonna sell out. You better get your tickets early. We this place will be packed to the gills because we invite all of the performers from this year and last year to perform for you here. And here she is, truly one of the finest band singers I have ever heard, a wonderful lady, a great friend, a wonderful singer, Care Morrison. I'm so... I, did. I am, I want to tell you, this young lady is absolutely one of the kindest people, but you know what? Look at how she dresses. There'd never be a war if everybody, if all the girls dress like this. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, Johnny. I think that your audience is probably one of the best ones, best dressed audiences in well, Los Angeles. We so. do have a very nice audience. We have to use a ball bat to get them on the street, but they do, uh, <laughs> they do come out. But Miss Morrison, I'm gonna move out of this microphone. You should take this one. Okay. And I'm gonna go over there and just linger and listen. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. See, I'm short. Every time I come to a microphone, it's a readjustment process that has to happen. She once told me, don't believe all you hear or see. When someone say you have no fault, take it with a grain of salt. All that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. That's a story often told. All that glitters is not gold. If someone promise you a jewel, Upon condition that you'll agree to be his valentine. Just be sure it's genuine. All that lies is not a rug. All that lies is not a rug. Man, he lied to get a hug. All that lies is not a rug. Bluebeard was man of mighty charm. Lady love melted in his arms. Not that she wasn't so well bred. She just seemed to lose her head. Lucretia Borgia had hobby. Dabbled a bit in chemistry. When love affair would start to hum. Cyanide potassium. All that smooth is not a glass. All that smooth is not a glass. Man talks smooth to win a lass. All that smooth is not a glass. So Walter Raleigh was polite. Spread cape and mud for queen one night. 
She had it cleaned and said, thank you. Sent him to the cleaners too. Adam in even birthday suit. Took little bite of serpent's fruit. Adam was overcome with grief. So we turned over new leaf. All that glitters is not gold. That's the story often told. All that glitters is not gold. Well, she is glittering, and I think she's made of pure gold. Karen Morrison, isn't she wonderful? You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I bring out these gals, I want to say that in our audience tonight, married in this very room 10 years ago, on this very day, Brooke and Doug, happy 10th anniversary. They're right there in the back. Happy anniversary and many, many more. And may you have a masculine child that, it, okay, well anyway. But listen, I, I wanna tell you, this is such a wonderful place. I see Courtney Freed right over there, and Rebecca, and my friend Hutton and Ruth. And you know, we're all going to Las Vegas tomorrow. We're gonna have such a wonderful time. And Mr. DeMille's going too. And uh, I, he's gonna teach me how to shoot crabs properly. But ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to bring out those girls, and they're gonna do a number that I know the dancers are gonna love, except you're dancing on the dance floor. You're just gonna sing? Ladies and gentlemen, you can dance to this one. It's that all-time favorite sung by the Satin Dolls, and aren't they gorgeous, in the mood. They terrific and that's an old favorite I like uh, seeing all of you out there I also want to say hello because actually many of our troops do watch the replay of this show overseas and I want to give my best wishes to Colonel Brian Eifler and Sergeant Major 
Daniel Clark, who wrote me from the 3rd Brigade Combat Team. I believe they're with the 35th Regiment, and they're overseas right now during the heavy lifting. That's why I always ask my friends to please do what you can to donate to the Bob Hope USO. Not only do they help our troops when they're traveling, coming through the airports, but they also do a lot of good for our families. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful surprise that was uh, what you would call a extra special guest. She is someone you're gonna get a real kick out of, singer and actress, Miss Laura Dickinson. Footsteps that you hear down the hall. Come on over here. Laura, I want to tell you, I'm going to give you my mic, but I just want to say, first of all, you look absolutely scrumptious, delicious. My goodness, look at her, huh? This is America right here, folks. Laura, uh, grab that mic. I want the folks to know that you are involved with several Disney, you work with the Disney people currently, as I yes, understand it. Yes, I do, it. yes. And you're working with uh, Phineas and Ferb. Correct. And... Uh, they didn't prep me, I'm sorry. <laughs> right now I'm doing four shows on the Disney Channel. Phineas really? and Ferb, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Fish Hooks, and a new show called Sophia the First. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe you could help me. Maybe. Because Buddy Adler never returns my calls from 20th Century Fox, and his number's been disconnected. I don't know what's going on. I'll take care of it. Would you? Well, right now you're going to sing an old favorite of ours. I believe it's, uh, it's not Rose of Mandalay. What is she doing? What's this? Oh, orange colored sky? No, take this one. My mic always works. There you go. I was walking along, minding my business, but out of an orange colored sky, flashback, Abacus, wonderful you came by. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, but out of an orange colored view. Flash, bang, abacus, Sam, I gotta look at you. One look and I yell, Timber, watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin and I started to shout up and hit. This is it, this is it. I was walking along. Minding my business when love came and hit me in the eye. Flash, bang, and the cassette of an orange colored sky. Loves you too, I swear. Laura, where have you been all my life? Gosh, we could be the Ned, Jeanette, Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy. I could, well, I could try. You're wonderful. I know you do a lot of studio work, but I want you to tell me something. Will you come back and work with us on this show? And really, because I think she's wonderful. Laura Dickinson, what a treat, huh? Thank you, Laura. Come on, sweetie. Thank you so much. You are. Sensational, as Cole Porter wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time again for... Are we doing... The, it's, oh, yes. I want to introduce you 
to, you know, the purpose of my show, when we started this last year in January, was not only to feature seasoned professionals, but introduce you to young talent. And, uh, you know, for what I might lack in the Ted Mack department, because I'm alive and Ted's dead, I want you to meet a very, very talented young tap artist. And please welcome to my stage, I'm gonna bring her up here because I want her to talk to you for just a moment. She's a very special young lady. Sharon, come on over here. You're so adorable. Thank you, handsome. Oh, <laughs> handsome, huh? I didn't even pay this act, I mean, really. Now, Sharon, I want to tell you something. You told me, now you just came back from Panama, where you, you performed in Panama? Yes, I performed in Panama, and we taught lots of classes and raised money for a charity. I loved it. Good, well, now you told me about your charity, which is called? Arts for Our Children. Arts for Our Children. Yes. And do you actually work with young people and teach them things like how to tap dance or sing and all that sort of good stuff? Yes, we try, arts education is not in our public schools anymore. So we're trying to help fill the void by right. getting it back into the public schools well, at no wonderful. cost to them or minimum cost. And that's the way it should be. And you know what? When you told me about this, and even though I normally don't compensate my guests because I'm broke, <laughs> I want to give you my check to put for the art for, for, for the kids. Thank because you. Because you know what? I think what you do is very special. Now I want you to, you don't have a pocket. I think I'll hold this okay, for you. Hold it. <laughs> Unless of course, we could talk later. You're over the age of 12, right? That's just the right age. I get carded all the time. The Georgie Jessel, This Way Miss, Johnny Holiday Show. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna step away because you're gonna go down there. I am. And you're gonna show us how to dance with taps. So we're get, we got a microphone down there. If I have to do something, someone should signal. Sharon, ladies and gentlemen. is short enough for me. Crazy rhythm, here's the doorway. I'll go my way, you go your way. Crazy rhythm, from that one we're through. Here is where we have a showdown. I'm too high hat, you're too low down. Crazy rhythm, here's goodbye to you. They say that when a high brow meets a low brow, walking along Broadway, soon a high brow no brow, ain't it a shame? You're to blame. What's the use of prohibition? You produce the same condition. Crazy rhythm, I've gone crazy too. Thank you. 
baby. I just feel like feeling fabulous. <laughs> uh, ain't it a shame you're to blame? What's the use of prohibition? You produce the same condition. Crazy rhythm, but crazy too. Thank you. Sharon, ladies and gentlemen, huh? I, I saw her performing with the great Chester Whitmore, who I know is in the house. And when I saw this young lady, I knew we had to get her on the show. And thank you, Maxwell DeMille, our producer, for arranging it. Maxwell, I really do appreciate it. She is wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do something that uh, Dean's not gonna like. I'm going to lead the band on my favorite instrumental from Mr. Is it Mr. Rhythmist? Mr. Ry it's on his Mr. Rhythmist CD, and it's done the way we used to do it. The band, then I do a vocal refrain, and then you just keep dancing, okay? And don't go away, because I'm gonna tell you something after this song that's mighty and bored. Gentlemen. Every star above knows this one I love. It's you, sweet Sue. And the moon on high knows the reason why. Just you, sweet Sue. And the roses know why I love you so. And without you, dear, I don't know what I'd do. In this heart of mine, you live all the time, just you, sweet Sue.
Dean Mara, come up here. Dean, come over here. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to our band break where we have live music provided by my pals Benny, John, and Jim, yesterday, my friend, my musical director, Mr. Dean Morris, celebrated his birthday. And uh, last night, he had a very special drunken party with all of the band. They all look very tired, but I want to tell you, you know, Dean has meant the world to me. He's a great friend, and I wouldn't be able to do these shows without Dean, the Dolls, and Mr. DeMille. And Dean, I was thinking uh, about the appropriate gift. You know, liquor is just kind of weird, but you remember I gave Maxwell one of Bing's uh, bow ties. Yeah. Well, I'd like to give you something nice snag from that house. Take a look. It's a uh, set of Bing's cufflinks and his tie bar. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's for you. Happy birthday. You're welcome. Thank you so much. This is one of the finest men I know. He works his tail off, and I am so grateful to have him. And, and uh, let's all sing and play that great song that we all know. Is that my note? Birthday to you and all of you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dean. Happy birthday to you. 